Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome back to my channel. I am back with another haul as promised because in my last Princess Polly haul if you guys haven't checked it out I will leave a picture here and a link down below But I promised you guys I would be doing more hauls since this is how this channel started So today's haul is gonna be another fall haul But this time it's gonna have a couple of more brands and with the exception of Oakenfort everything I purchased myself Oakenfort items were gifted But either way, I'm super excited to show you guys if you guys have been around and watched my hauls before you guys Guys will know that I typically like to go with the lightest material to the heaviest material but because there are a mix of different brands I will be going through it by brand so the first brand I'm gonna go through is actually gonna be Aritzia because I'm gonna go through the top that I'm wearing today then I'm gonna go through Oakenfort then Zara and then finally H&M so without any further ado let's get this video started So the first item that I wanted to show you is actually this top that I'm wearing right now. I'm so in love with this top. It is called the Boyfriend Button Up. It is in color Avorio and I got this in size extra small. So because it is a boyfriend fit, as you guys can see, it is supposed to be baggy. This is already an extra small. I am absolutely in love with this top you guys like i can't even describe how many times i have already worn this i actually got this a while ago but i realized i never talked about it so i'm throwing it in this video right now i just love how silky it is this color is perfect and i actually love how oversized this is it is a little bit on the pricey side for a blouse it's 138 dollars canadian i know but like when i tried it on i fell in love so i had to get it so definitely not a cheap purchase but definitely one of my my favorites of this season. I feel like this is also a really great transitional piece. Even during heavy fall time, I still think that this is great. So if you guys also like this top, make sure you check it out. For this top, I also like wearing it just like a little bit tucked in at the front. I don't really like to tuck in the back, but obviously you guys can do that too, but I just kind of like to leave the back hanging. So yeah, definitely check out this top if you guys are liking this look as well. Moving on to Oakenfort, and I know I'm so surprised I only have one or two item, but they're having a sale right now, so there might be more later, who knows. But moving on to Oakenfort, I have so many great pieces from Oakenfort. So the first item I actually want to share with you are these jeans that I'm wearing. Because with Oakenfort, they don't have names. I'm just going to leave the item number on here. And I will also leave a link down below so you guys can shop all the products. But for the sake of this video, I won't be able to remember the exact names. These pair of jeans that I got, I got it in a size 25. To be honest, these fit a little too perfectly. I feel like if you guys like a little bit of wiggle room, you guys could go up a size for me personally I can't decide if I were to do it again if I would get it oversized or not I really do like the size of these pants however I just know that if I go out or if I'm planning to have a big meal like these would not be the pants that I would wear but for the look of them it looks absolutely perfect and honestly you guys these pair of pants go with everything that I have gotten because if you guys don't know I'm here in Vancouver from Toronto I was not planning to stay this long so I don't have any of my clothes here hence this huge haul I didn't have any winter clothes and these pants honestly go with everything also because it's not pure white I feel like it's a really nice creamier white for fall and it honestly does go with everything I think a pair of cream pants are still pretty essential for fall it allows you to wear all your lighter colors and pair your lighter colors without looking a little too summery I feel like if it was pure white then it would look almost too summery so this is a very good fall white color like I said these honestly go with everything that I have here so definitely worth the investment these are probably the only pair of long pants that I have here maybe I have two more but I'm really glad I have these because it honestly does go with everything so the next item that I wanted to show you I will actually get back to these tights later but the next item I want to show you is this sweater from Oakenfort and once again goes so well with my pants. This one I got it in a size small. I feel like for my frame and because I have absolutely no boobs, 
I could have gone with an extra small. I can't remember if extra small was a option, but this is such cute detailing, you guys. It already has this sewn in ribbon. This is not detachable. It's actually just a full on sweater. The ribbon is just sewn on, but it is so cute. It honestly looks great with any high waisted pants, including the ones that I'm wearing right now. The next item that I have for you guys is this sweater dress from Oakenfort. I got this in this green color because all the other color options, I honestly feel like I have so much black, white, etc. Also, I find that this color is actually super in this season. I don't know why, but green is making a comeback. So I really do love this fit. This is also oversized. So if you guys don't like oversized, I don't know if you're going to really like the rest of this haul because a lot of my clothes are oversized. If you guys are new here, I like my things oversized so I can eat. Eating is such a priority in my life that I just need to have oversized items. This is one of them. I feel like this one looks really, really good just on its own with like a pair of chunky boots or you can actually wear it with a belt and I just feel like you can fancy it up that way. I would say the material is more like jersey, crew neck type of material. This is kind of the fabric, but I absolutely love it. For this sweater, I got it in an extra small. It makes it super casual and I just love easy to wear pieces where I can just wear one item and not have to think about pants at all. The next item is this brown sweater and also the color brown is making a comeback as well and once again it goes so perfect with the pair of pants that I'm wearing right now but I just really like how this is once again a little oversized and I love the drape of this particular sweater. It just hangs so perfectly. I know this is hard to believe but there are sweaters that just kind of hang weird. It is a little bit baggy in other parts of the body but this one just hangs your body so perfectly. It gives that like very straight look that I'm looking for. I think it looks amazing on its own and I think it'll also look really good with a button up underneath as well. And this one I also got in a size small. So the last item that I got from Oakenfort is this coat and I got this in a size small. I absolutely love the print of this coat. The color scheme for this pattern is extremely fall. It's not too light, it is on the darker side. I just feel like for any type of wool coats, this is just such a perfect fit and also the color pattern. Pattern. I have a lot of different wool coats back at home that are camel, gray, etc. So I was actually looking for a plaid one and this one is perfect and it is honestly going to be perfect for the colder month that's coming up. Okay, so now moving on to Zara. The first item that I'm going to show you or actually the first two items are these two shoulder pad shirts. I actually got this about a month ago, but I made sure to check on the website and it's still there. So I made sure to select the items that at this very moment, they're all in stock. And Anything that isn't in stock, I just took out already, but everything right now is in stock unless if in the next week it is not in stock anymore. But as of right now, these two shoulder pad tops are still in stock. And honestly, shoulder pad tops this entire year has been so in. It is so simple and it just honestly goes with everything. You can wear it with high-waisted jeans, high-waisted shorts, a skirt, every single bottom combination. This probably will look good with it. So what is different about these two is that this is actually made in a more wool material. I don't know if you guys can see up close, but this is the wool material that I'm talking about. These two colors, I think there's actually also like a more yellowy camel, but these are the two colors that I got. Now, including the summer shoulder pad shirts, I now have these two colors and also black and white. I feel like it's the one thing that I've been wearing on rotation this entire year. So definitely don't miss out on this. This is also only $25 Canadian, so get your hands on it because it honestly goes with everything. The next two items are once again, the same item in different colors because as you can see, I like to buy the same things over and over again if I like it and I like to get it in different colors. I'm actually really surprised I don't have this in a different color, but I think that has more to do with price, not because I don't want the other colors. But anyway, the next two Zara items are these blazers here. So I got one in this kind of camel color and one in just plain black. I just wanted to say that I have been looking for this exact style of blazer for a freaking long time. When I'm talking about a freaking long time, I think I've been searching for this for two years. I'm not even joking you. There is a very specific look I have in mind when I'm thinking about oversized blazers. I'm also very picky when it comes to the camel, what color and shade of a camel is. And I 
finally found it on Zara. Both of these are the oversized blazer and I will obviously leave the links down below. I got them both in size small and I just feel like they are absolutely the perfect length, the perfect oversizedness or whatever and the perfect structural look. I just think that there are so many ones I've tried in the last year that's been so frustrating because they're either way too baggy for me on the shoulder or too big or it's too long or it's just not oversized enough and just oh there were so many problems and finally I came across these two while I'm filming this you would have already seen me wear this blazer I wore it with my Gucci tights and these like boots outfit I will leave a picture here from my Instagram this is how I styled it but I had to buy both of them because I've just been in search of this style for so long they're also $80 or $79 Canadian each so not too too bad that's actually pretty much it for Zara the four items I had a couple other Zara items but once again didn't want to include anything that was already out of stock. There's obviously no point of including those. So that's pretty much it for Zara. And now moving on to H&M. So the first item I wanted to share for H&M is this sweater right here. And it is this sweater vest. And honestly, I actually ordered this about a month ago. And for some reason, this literal exact sweater vest since then has gone viral and everyone seemed to have owned it. I already got this like right when it came out, but I just had hadn't styled it yet. As you guys can see, it's still on the tag. I'm actually going to go out and take some photos for the sweater vest, but it's just crazy because like I haven't even worn it yet. And now it looks like I got it because everyone else has it, but I'm like, damn it guys. Like I actually got it right when this came out and I really regret not styling this vest earlier. But anyway, this vest has been very viral on social media and it's from H&M and it's honestly such a reasonable price. I think it is about 30 something dollars. This one also comes in the black. I got the black, but but unfortunately size small ran out so I got it in the size medium and after trying it on I just realized that I cannot settle for a medium because it is a little too big unless if they can exchange it or unless if they have more in stock I actually think I will have to return the black the white is also the more popular color anyways the sweater vest outfit is super in right now so make sure you guys check it out if it's still in stock next item that I have is this jacket from H&M and you guys when I tell you the price of this item Item, you're gonna be like what the actual heck this item is only $40 and I swear to god I've seen the exact same jacket in Aritzia for I don't even know how much it is I'm too scared to look this exact jacket is $40 Canadian at H&M what a steal and also it just looks so cute once again goes with these jeans that I'm wearing right now this one I also got it in a size small and it just has this perfect fall really cute look and if you guys have a chance to shop online or even go into store make sure you check out this jacket because it's so worth it it's only 40 bucks for a jacket definitely worth checking out the last item that I have from H&M is this leather jacket and honestly you guys if you guys follow me on Instagram this leather jacket should come at no surprise because I think I've worn this I swear maybe 50 times already the cost per wear of this item has really really been worth it for me because I've worn this actually like so many times and I I even made a video on how to style this leather jacket especially in the blazer format is so in this season if you guys saw my last princess Polly haul I also have the oversized leather slash biker jacket this style is just so in right now it honestly does go with everything and if you guys have the chance make sure you pick up a leather blazer so even if you guys can't find this in store or whatever a bunch of stores are selling it now you can buy it on Zara you can buy it on H&M which is where I got mine just this style is definitely not one to miss because it is very practical very versatile and it does go with so many things and you can dress it up dress it down like I can go on but if you guys need outfit ideas you can check out my Instagram I posted a reel on how to style this overall this is definitely one of the must-have items of the season the last item that I wanted to share with you guys which I actually should have started with this because it was all the way at the front the last item that I got you guys can't really see that clearly right now but I got the Gucci tights from Essence and honestly did I need $150 tights? Definitely not. 
To be honest, when I bought them, it was super, super spontaneous. When I got the notification that it was getting shipped, I actually had the plan to return it right away because I was like, okay, this was too spontaneous. I couldn't justify $150 for tights. But then once I actually put it on, I realized that it was a lot more durable than expected. I don't know if you can tell from this fabric. This fabric is actually quite thick. It is a lot thicker than I had expected. If you're thinking about all the sheer tights that people wear. I'm not talking about sheer techs because they actually have amazing tights, but I'm talking about the really sheer black tights. This is 10 times thicker than those tights. The actual material that is surrounding the Gucci tights, I don't know, it's actually very thick and obviously there's no sheerness. It's actually just holes in between. It is a lot thicker than I had imagined. I think that for me, because of how expensive I know these tights to be, the way that I've been taking care of them is when I put them on I never use my nails I try to use my fingers as much as possible I'll try to roll it and then kind of like slide it with my hands instead of just going like this if you guys know what I'm talking about I'm just kind of trying to roll it on with my hands the other thing also is I find that with tights it's really easy to rip especially like the toe area so how I've been kind of compensating for that is after I put on the tights if I'm wearing something like a thick boot actually no it doesn't matter what I'm wearing really unless if it's heels, but if I'm wearing a type of boot with it, I actually will put on my regular socks on top just to take care of them because if I were to wear them alone, I feel like the chances of it ripping off in the toe area is gonna be really high, especially with all the movement between your legs. So how I've been taking care of them is just wearing a pair of socks over top. Just honestly, any socks, like ankle socks and stuff like that. Also, another thing that I find is that before you <laughs> wear these tights, yes, they're extremely high maintenance, so a little FYI, you should also basically kind of like file them down because even right now if you guys can see from my thumb I have a little bit of this finger skin thing I don't know I just feel like around my fingers it's not always the smoothest and these parts of the fingers or like the little skin or like whatever or your hangout or whatever it is it will get caught on this so easily so before I put them on I'm honestly just like lotioning my hand a little bit like scrubbing it down so it can't be caught and it won't have any tears in them once again this is just part of my haul do you actually need these tights no are they very nice to have yes was this a very spontaneous decision yes but it does look really good. I think that it does go with a lot of outfits and I actually have a specific Pinterest board just on Gucci tights. So to me, I think it is really nice. If you guys are interested, that's kind of my review. It is a lot thicker than I had expected. So I know some people DM'd me on Instagram asking me for a review. So there you go. Yeah, that's pretty much the haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this try on haul. Once again, it's been a hot minute. So I'm just once again starting to get warmed up. Hopefully there will be more hauls to come. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.